So that was cut scene. Yeah, no, you, it's it's just to it's just to let me know where the the timeline to start and edit oh. and all that shit. So when you when you went out the first time, like, was it did you did you do well? How did it go? I did very well. Um, okay. So the thing I got from Leon, he said, bring all your family members, your friends, because they the only people that know you funny. So I packed it up with all my friends. I'm like, I don't care, y'all better laugh. And I was so nervous. I was the lady that was pulling dicks out the bag. That was my first stand up. You 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 got pulled, on stage with a bag, a bag, and I pulled a dick out the bag. Okay, okay. And I have a lot of toys. I believe it. <laughs> There's something about that that doesn't surprise me at all. So and okay, so the set went well, and then after that, you were hooked. It, this, I was it, going there every Wednesday. That's crazy. And now and then when as it as it started um, going, like I guess I guess when was your first bomb? When was the first time? Yeah, I was bombing in the beginning. I was bombing at Barton, then when I went to Francis, <laughs> bomb like a motherfucker. When I say bomb, hit me with a semi, I cried on the way home, I was like, I can't do comedy no more. <laughs> yeah. Then I stopped going to Francis for a little minute. I was like, I'm going to Barton, just, I'm finna just go to Barton. Then I said, I was going to Francis, but I was not getting on stage. I'm like, no, nah, I ain't finna do it. Then I just said, fuck it. Yeah. So I kept on going to Francis, started going up on stage, then it was one night that I had killed. Mm. I kill. I saw, I made it. <laughs> I am a truly a comedian now. I made it, Francis. See, I need to get back down there. Yeah. I think you were there the first time I went. Didn't mm-hmm. shit didn't go well. They're mm-hmm. mad. They're up there. It was shoes. Mm-hmm. Every, everyone loves talking about shoes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I, I still got to get down there and do all that. Shoes uh, plays a big part in Chicago. Can I say, though, <laughs> ch- just look behind you right there. Look, look, I'm ready to go. Oh, okay. Oh, oh He got Nikes. <laughs> I'm ready. To, I'm, I'm going to go down there. I'm going to just get on stage, put my shit on the stool. You see this, niggas? Let's go. Like, okay, okay. So so you started off in the South Side doing comedy. No, then, what's that? Can I ask what what's going on? Every time I go to 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 Barton or, or Laugh Therapy or whatever, and you hear West Side South Side, I'm not from here. I don't get it. What's going on? What's the South Side West Side shit? What is this? All right, from my experience, <laughs> I'm West Side today. I die. A uh, lot of West Side. West Side to me is hustler. We hustler. We don't hate. We hustlers. We get money. We don't hate on you. We get money. That's why I got from the West Side. South Side, on the other hand, broke. <laughs> I almost got robbed on 71st and Halstead. I will never forget that day. <laughs> what? what? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. What happened? What happened? What happened? All right. So I had a boyfriend at that time, and I went to go drop some pictures off to him. And I was interning downtown. So I went to the South Side, dropped some pictures off to him, you know, being a good girlfriend. Mm. I was on the bus stop. I had some Timberland Boo Hills. I hope you remember that, them Boo Hills? No. Okay. So some Timberland Boo Hills. Um, looking very professional on 71st and Halstead. Next thing you know, this car just pulled up, and she had got the car, signed the door or whatever, and she just started walking up on me. And she was cock at it, so I was rocking with her and shit. So I was like, okay, we finna dance. She swung off me, but good thing I got good reflex. And I'm like, what's your fucking problem? She said, give me your phone. I had a fucking Android at that time, a bubble Android. Mm. Bitch, it's a phone store right there. I could buy your phone. I'm lying. I'm broke. I'm an intern. <laughs> so <laughs> next you know, her friend had got a car. Her friend was big as hell. I said, this bitch look like a roly-poly. I know my time is almost up, so I'm going to run to the bus. And I was banging on the bus. I said, yeah, I'm not fucking with the South Side no more. Now I'm the bus stop or nothing. The South Side, so it has like a... Uh I want to say shadier. No, it's, it's all love. Don't get me wrong. Chicago is love. It's just fucked up people out here. Yeah, I'm I'm um I'm learning that. Yeah, it's just really fucked up people. But say so I still be on the south side. You got it's a one hitter. You mm-hmm. gotta just yeah. I gotta hold this, blow this. It's oh, like you, I'm sucking it. Like you've never done it before. Come on now. I ain't did it in a while. Oh uh, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> I uh, I remember I remember the first time I remember you. We were at, we were at um, at laugh therapy, and it was you were with uh, Mo Good, maybe one other woman, and y'all looked like you were gossiping. That's what I remember. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you remember the first time you met me or and or saw me? Well, I'd be drunk, as it should be. <laughs> I'd be drunk most of the time when I meet people. 
Was I drunk when I met you? I don't know. I, I, I don't remember the first time you met me. I just remember the first time you seemed to recognize. Who you were. Yeah. Because yeah. I started calling you Barack. And I said I like your voice. Yeah, it was something like that. It was yeah. something like that. And I just remember you talking to Mo and another woman. Okay. Yeah. So I, you don't you have no recollection no, of that. No, I don't. You, I probably remember the conversation I said, with you, oh, you got a nice voice. You sound like Barack Obama. Yeah. You sexy. And I'll probably give you compliments and shit. That, yeah. Yeah. yeah that was, that was, you, you, okay. So, so you, where, do, have you always been like a sexual person? Yep. All my life. Where do they, where do you think that came from? That just is? My grandmama. Please elaborate. <laughs> is Chevy your grandma? Cause. Oh, Chevy is not my grandma. Cause you all seem like thick as thieves. Yeah. It's crazy how me and Chevy, well, I'm here doing comedy and it's like, it was crazy because I was driving at first. Then my grandmother had passed away. Then I knew Chevy. Then I just started hanging out with Chevy. I'm like, oh my gosh, she act just like my grandma. Really? Just like my grandma. Mm. Crazy. Were you like really close with your grandma? Yeah. That's my girl. So, yeah, so Chevy is not my grandma, for real, for real, but that's my grandma. Sarah, and, grandma. And auntie, and, uh, and mom. Godmama. Mm. <laughs> mm. But and that's really, when it comes to my family, so it's my grandma, my mama, always talk nasty, raunchy. So I was like, oh, okay. My, yeah. daddy, my daddy always told stories, then think I ain't know the stories. I'm like, that's a nasty story. So I'm like, I get this shit for you, too. My daddy told me he would never come to my comedy shows because the way I talk. He, so he's aware of the vibe. Yeah. He's seen the, the picture with the, the green cum slime coming down. Yeah. He saw everything. That's that's how's he doing with that? Uh, I'm living my life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you just doing your Yeah, he's like, You got a show, he ain't gonna elaborate nothing about it. He's like, Okay, cool. <laughs> well that's that's reasonable. Yeah. What's well, one of the things I liked about you, um, is your I guess unabashed sexuality. Like I told you about the trans shit. You see in the flag. Yeah. It, it, I'm, I appreciate that you're not like, Ugh, nigga, like that you don't do that because th I think the expression of sexuality for black men in particular is a little mm. fucked up. Yeah, I it think is. We, we got a we got a homophobia issue real bad. Where do you think that comes from? <laughs> they getting touched by their uncles. <laughs> I hate my uncle. I hate I, men. <laughs> I can't relive those experiences. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> no, uh, I don't know where it's coming from. Like, I don't, I'm very open. I've been open since I was a, a child. So it's like, I don't know what I like. I like the girls. And I'm like, all right, I got to try dick out too. Oh, I like dick too. Yeah. So it's like, when I say I'm really a bisexual, I'm between. I could be with a woman, I could be with a man. But I never had a girlfriend for a friend. Do you think, do you think you would? Eventually, now I've been single for three years. I don't give a fuck who come in my fucking life. <laughs> Do you, when, when's, when's the last? So you, so you were in a relationship when you started comedy. Yeah. Okay. And I then was, was he like, I can't, I can't handle this anymore. Nah, it's just life shit happen. Life happen. Uh, yeah. Okay. I feel you. I feel you. I um, I have a girlfriend now. We're trying to, we're trying to work out this, uh, like a triad relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, like I want. My ideal relationship is two women, and like the it's a community. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I look at threesomes and whatever. I, some be fun. Some like if when I was uh, with a person with like that, and they were like, "Oh, you you buy you could bring a girl." I said, "I can." So yeah. I said, "I put you in the room with her, have her like you, because at the end of the day, I'm already in with the pussy. I'm not finna say oh." Yeah, fuck my men because I'm with them. No, it's not going to go like that. Make them like you. I want it to be equal. I want it to be very comfortable when we have sex. Because mm. I'm mm. not going to get jealous. I'm not going to cry. I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to be ruling him on. I'm going to be ruling you on. Your pussy wet, your dick car. Fuck her, right. Scroll his dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, turn me on. <laughs> That's, man. And how, like, I don't know. With your, you, you, with your comedy and shit, like, I don't know what is the reaction usually like okay like for for me people find me pretentious sometimes mm -hmm. uh good i'm glad that you yeah. agree uh <laughs> it's your voice too. It's what what is, what because i don't get because i hear i don't hear my you know what i mean it's basically because you're from california your voice is very different you it tick like you know the word <laughs> is that is it do i seem like i'm from cali is that what it is kind of sort of uh. Okay. You don't get the Chicago vibes. No, no, nah, nah, I'd imagine. No, 
in a years depends how long you stay. I plan on staying for a while. I love Chicago. Okay, cool. I love Chicago. You love Chicago. You I love the weather too. I love the weather. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. Come it, for California. Yeah, no, Shit. fuck California. Like fuck California and their weather. Like like it's it's hot. It's hot. It's it's it it's, was cool when I went down there. Where, where'd you go? I I was in L.A. Yeah, so you weren't yeah. in, you were near the beach. You weren't in in where I was from. I don't know where the fuck I was at. Oh, you was in desert. Mm-hmm. That sounds nice. See, this thing, I've been in Chicago my whole life, so it's like, oh, I want to see different shit. Do you think you'll move? Uh, Probably. Probably so. Where at? I don't know. Okay. I've been, well, I've been going to New York. Uh, too expensive, never mind. We're going to New York and going to the whole little tri-states and whatever. So up there, it's cool, but it's still cold. So I'm like, I want to go somewhere hot. Okay. So if so you I want. Texas or L.A.? Or, or in Georgia. I don't know. I ain't never been to Georgia. Same. I've been to Texas before. How was Texas? Oh, it's lit as fuck. I went there as a party. <laughs> you seem like you have fun anywhere, though. Yeah, anywhere. I don't give a fuck. I could be having fun in the church. <laughs> That's... And last time I went to church, it was at a funeral. So... And you still have fun? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I got you on my... <laughs> you and, and you always been you, huh? Mm-hmm. Nothing don't change about me. I've been like this since I was a kid. And my grammar school friends could say that. Like, I've always been crazy. That's what people say about me on stage, crazy. Free spirit, but crazy as hell. It's silly. I, You know, I don't see you as crazy. I, I see you as free spirit. I don't see you as crazy. I don't know. Not that crazy crazy. Crazy. <laughs> where, well, I've seen. See, I've been with white women, and that's a different type of crazy. Oh, you taste a white woman. You seen white people pussy, white women pussy. Yeah. Have you it, been- yeah, I did it before. Okay. One oh, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me. No, it was cool. It didn't taste like nothing. <laughs> then I had her cooking. That don't taste like nothing either. You got a <laughs> double whammy. <laughs> So, oh yeah, and you were with a, you were a white man two days ago. Yeah. yeah How did that go? It was it was wonderful. That's I was having a good time. That's, as, my, as it that's my motherfucker. As it should be. Yeah, we're well, a day apart. We both Scorpios. So. What does that mean to be a Scorpio? I'm a Taurus. I don't know. What oh, you just love it. My brother a Taurus. So, I don't know. I'm not really into the horoscope shit. Okay, you just do you. Yeah, you a Scorpio? Oh, you act like it. You want to fuck? No, I, I got. I'm, I'm emotional. <laughs> do, you, do you want? Do you want a relationship? I don't know. Not right now, cause uh, self. What you mean, self? Oh uh, shit, me, me personally, I'm fucked up <laughs> financially. So if you want to be my boyfriend, girlfriend, you gotta be financially stable, cause uh, I would need help. But at the same time, I do not put myself in no type of relationship when I'm too fucked up. Well, to be in a relationship, I'm like, ah, oh, now I feel like you got to take care of me. But I want to do that to myself, though. You want your independence. Hell yeah. Because mm. if you tell me no, it's like, <laughs> it's over. Right. So shit's going to happen regardless because of how you want to go about things. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. You, I was telling Show Abe about this, the man behind the camera. Hey, you cute. Oh, thank you. are welcome. <laughs> You always intrigued me, and I don't think I fool. Like, there's something about you that. Mm. <laughs> stop. Come on, stop. Come on. You're making me not want to give you no compliments. No, come on, talk your shit. You, all right. Obviously, sexy, right? Mm-hmm. And that's and that's that's I think that's something that you present about yourself. Yeah. But I I would say that you are. You have that side of yourself, but to me, when I saw you, I saw someone that was beautiful. Do you know the? You know, you know what I mean. Yeah. I, like you, you, and I, and I want to again acknowledge the sex. Yeah, you're sucking on toes and clits or whatever the fuck you. Yeah, the I green cum toes. slime. You don't know two toes. I, I no, I never sucked on toes. Really? Mm-mm. You 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 prude you. No, I never sucked on toes. Why not? Uh, t- I'm like, oh, never suck your toes. I, I never did that. What if it? What if it was like they went to the bathroom, washed up, and was like, okay. No, nobody never say suck my toes. Really? No, nobody never said me that. I got you. Don't worry. I, I'm the goddess. I lay down. And you please me for the most part. Okay. I got my toes licked on before. Okay. How'd you like that? It's wonderful. It's tickle. <laughs> <laughs> I got more I got more sex questions too but before I get into it no you you um when, okay when I first when I first went also I'm gonna pee very soon and okay. we will still be having this conversation okay when <laughs> when I first moved out here 
uh, I didn't know where any South Side mics were, black okay. mics in general. So I was in the North Side generally. Yeah. And then eventually, I can't remember how I figured out where where Laugh Therapy was. I Laugh asked, Factory. I love. No, Laugh Therapy. Laugh Therapy. That's on uh, niche. Uh, on what? Who? That, the, oh, uh, Jazz E Spot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, on eighty four. That was the first like black mic I'd gone mm-hmm. to, and. At some point, I know I had been there once or twice, and then you were there. Yeah. And I remember being like, oh, she is beautiful. Like, you, again, outside the sexual stuff, you you exude such a warmth about you. And when, people were real cold to me. Yeah. And still are kind of cold. I think people are still warming up to whatever my vibe is. Yeah. Like, when I go into these black rooms, there's this um, judgment that I feel. Okay. Uh, but you never had, you always seemed nice and reasonable and open and elegant. Thanks. Yeah. You have a, you have a real elegance about you and a real, uh, like a confidence and a poise that I think is incredibly attractive and I don't think is acknowledged enough for you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like I make myself knowledgeable when I walk in the room. Yeah. Oh, you. As soon as you walk in the room, the, you there, there's an aura, there's a, a, a an energy that about you that make people look at you. Yeah, I think it'd be my pussy smell just lingering. <laughs> Tiny tickles in the room. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> who wants a pussy tonight? Who want? Who finna say they finna fuck me? What? I can deny, deny, deny. <laughs> Do you got some money? Shut up. <laughs> That's me. It. Oh, God damn. It's 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 nice to see it's nice to be around. You are a nice person to be around. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to be nice. And you do your best. Yeah, I'm blunt too. So But and ass Have you ever been in love? Yeah, once. How did that go? <laughs> it was so lovely. Damn, you broke my heart. <laughs> now we'll never love again. <laughs> it's shit. I fell in love once. Do you think you'll be in love again? Sure. Absolutely. Okay. It's just the one time I just let my guards down. <laughs> I build them back up. <laughs> God damn Who's gonna love me? I should I should it's I shouldn't have drank before the podcast, but we're here. I love you. I'm gonna be like you in a second. Uh, I uh, we'll see. <laughs> it's gonna be fun as fuck. <laughs> so what What's your goal? What's your goal in comedy? Oh, my goal in comedy, uh, overall, I want to be one of the top ten, like, top raunchiest comics in the world, honestly. I know that for a fact. Uh, also, when it comes out to comedy, when it comes out to shows, get on TV, I'm trying to do that now. I'm doing, I'm actually, yeah, in the process of doing uh, roles and plays and shit, so that's something new. You said play? Play, yeah. You in a play? I'm going to be looking for him, looking forward to. Him. I got a little uh, audition tomorrow. What's the What's the play? For? Shit, I don't know. You going to audition? You're I was drunk thing. when I met the motherfucker. Text me yesterday. Say we'll have a meeting on Monday. I like. All right, cool. Don't talk to me. I'm drunk. I'm just gonna say yes. <laughs> don't so, ask what it's about. I don't know shit at this moment. When you did so, when you were a kid, did you always want to get into performing? Oh yeah, I always been to performing. Yeah. So I did talent shows, uh, sing. Uh, did play. I was Harriet Tubman. Did play. Yeah. When in high school? No, this was a ground school. <laughs> you were you played Harriet. Yeah, I played Harriet. Mm-hmm. I was always an entertainer. Uh, play sports and shit. Oh, this one here. Yeah. Play sports. So I always wanted to be known for something. Huh. It was just me having a sense of humor. We're just on top of it. I was like, I want to make it. I was watching. Uh, Dev Comedy Jam when I was little, my parents had the VHS tapes. So mm. I I was always into comedy. Huh. Do you do you have your uh do you have like your favorite, your top five? Nope. I look at everybody who I see is top or whoever. I learn from everybody. So when it gonna have to, you know, meet a person in person, at the end of the day it's a regular person. To me, they just got the spotlight. If I have the presence to meet them and I can share a stay with that person, whatever, I'm gonna be learning. So every, I don't have a top. Top comedian. Hmm. I love people. Love people like a motherfucker, but not no top. Why do you why do you love people so much? Cause that's what my heart tells me. No, I'm just <laughs> people are sweet. 
people are kind. You'll never know what people want through in their life. So it's like me, my energy will bring in the room like, oh, shit, she cool as fuck. Yeah. She heartwarming. She funny. She understandable, even though she could be gay sometimes. But I'm like, I don't have a gay daughter. <laughs> but I'm like, I don't know. It's like my personality just shows a lot. Yeah. So my energy. Like when I f- met you, I put this show podcast last year. You said what about I put my- this podcast last year? Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. You didn't invite me before. <laughs> I yeah. I'm just still, still trying to get Larry. Um, Laro. Yeah. Uh, Larry. This nigga's Larry. <laughs> this nigga's Larry forever because he, I man, good over over a year ago, I was trying to get him on four days in a row. This nigga flaked. Oh damn. Yeah. So he's Larry. He's yeah. Larry until he shows up. Um, That's hilarious. Yeah. No, you. I think there's something I I envy a little bit about that. What? You you have an ease about you. You that you you see you love and see everybody immediately. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't do I'm real on edge about people. I don't trust people. Yeah. I like I uh when I moved here I wasn't kinda in fight or flight mode. I was still in still in dealing with the trauma of where I was from. Yeah. And so I think I'm slowly getting to a place, like a mentality of kind of seeing the, uh, of loving people, just kind of who they are Mm -hmm. and how they are for who, uh, for who they are. You know what I mean? I can love a person, but I I don't have to trust them. Can you elaborate on that? What you mean? I can love, like, at the end of the day, I can love you, but at the same time, like, it's nothing about you I don't trust, but at the same time, I'm still going to have that love for you, but at the same time, it's going to be, you're going to, you're not going to feel this. It's just going to be like, oh. If I ain't love you, I would never do the podcast. You know what I mean? I'm mm. like, oh, no. If you didn't love me, you didn't trust me. Trust you. I would never do the podcast, which I create a distance between us. Like, I don't know why she won't do my podcast. And I'm like, eh, something about it I don't like. Huh. But I won't even know. Because at the end of the day, I would not try to get to know you either. I would do simple conversations. Mm. I guess I'll take you being here as a compliment. Yeah. Thank you. I got on the train. You got on the train. I got on the train. For this. That's, that's. And it was a wonderful, like, it was a wonderful scenery. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh. What? The train is on the ground. <laughs> you don't never, you don't ever take the train, right? You drive? I do, no, I do take the train. Okay, okay. But I just go to destinations. Oh. So you I, never just sit. I come down here since I was in high school, and that was in 2009. How segregated is this place for real? What, Chicago? Yeah. It's segregated as fuck. I'm understanding that, but not apparently. It's been that long since you've been like this north? Well, I work up north. I work at the Winter Circle. That's right. That's That's something else I'm seeing is fucked up. It's, It's the north side is filled with places that it seems like black people from the west side and south side have to come up to work at Mm -hmm. and then go back down. Yeah, so... Chicago been like this. Uh, West side, well, it don't really matter. West side, south side. It's like, that's where you know where all the violence happened and shit and whatever, what gets staged on news and all that bullshit and whatever. When it comes out to the north side, it's barely. Rogers probably just started popping. Like, you know, in the, what, the past few years, Rogers Park. But at the same time, I've been up north um, all my life for, you know, from high school. I went to Lincoln Park, so... I've been up north. It's just like I don't travel that much mm. on the train and shit. I'm spoiled. People pick me up because I'm small and I'm tiny and somebody will snatch me probably. <laughs> do you do you offend people often, you think? Probably so. You don't give a fuck? No. You never gave a fuck? No. It's what I said. It came out my mouth. <laughs> it came out. Uh, it just is what it is. It huh? is what it is. I'm not gonna say sorry for something that came out. Now I could say if I'm if I feel like I'm wrong, mm. but yeah, I really don't say sorry that much. Are you like a spiritual person? Sometimes. What you mean? <laughs> I um I do yoga and I uh, meditate. You meditate. You said that with a lot of great. Uh, yeah. Gra- graviosity. That's yeah. Not a word. I, I understand it. <laughs> you see, but, when did you start meditating? Oh, I started meditating last year. How has it been going for you? It's, it's all right. I missed a few days. 
When did um? How was quarantine for you? I was in uh, I was in a relationship. Yeah. You were with that same that same guy when you first started comedy. Mm-hmm. Okay, and y'all y'all lived together. Yeah. How he stayed with me. Yo, he stayed with you. Okay, yeah. so you the breadwinner. You being a dominatrix. He's got leather on his face. Oh, yeah. That's sexy. Uh, of course. <laughs> so he, you doing your thing, and, and he lives with you. How was quarantine? Like, like what? It was because I was working still. At so. the same place. I was uh, in the medical field. I was working in a clinic at that time. What, what, like a nurse? No, I was a clerk. <laughs> When you first come in, oh, the person last clickety name. click clack. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Your last name can't see the dick, uh, <laughs> dick doctor. <laughs> you can't uh, get your dick checked. <laughs> I got reported one time by saying the coochie doctor, so that was funny. You, <laughs> she was itching her coochie. And I said, "You want to see the coochie doctor?" She laughed. Then she ended up telling on me, bitch. She laughed and told on you. Yeah, like how you gonna laugh? <laughs> Mm. And, uh, oh, and then get you yeah. written up. And get me written up. They're like, can you uh, please turn your comedy down? I said she was itching. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody didn't hear. She said, I felt so embarrassed. Bitch, no, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta see the coochie doctor. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Check your coochie. <laughs> Were you raised to just be you, huh? Mm -hmm. Were your brother? Are your brothers kind of like you? Yep. Are they gonna end up watching them? Huh? Are they? Would they? Do they give a fuck about your comedy? Are they gonna? Oh yeah, my brother's. Uh, I got an older brother. I hang out with him. He's my neighbor. Your brother is your neighbor. Yeah, my big brother's my neighbor. That's that's probably convenient. It's convenient as fuck. Cause when I get locked out the house, <laughs> hey, come open the door. <laughs> you ever been in a fight? Yeah, I ain't. I fought uh, last year. What you fight over? Oh, uh, we was in a bar. It was me, Mo, Marnie, Beans. Uh, pick, I picked up the wig. It was funny. I picked up the wig. The girl said, put my motherfucking wig down. Mo was like, what the fuck she said? I said, she said, put her motherfucking wig down. Or whatever. So Mo had picked up the wig. Next thing you know, she started squatting up with Mo. She swung on Mo. She missed. I'm like, don't hit my, uh, don't swing off my best friend. So I punched the girl. And I was like, bar fight. So I was on the dance floor. Then I end up at the DJ booth. I don't know how. I, I you just dance, fight all the way through the DJ booth. I don't know. I started playing music, so I'm a DJ now. Okay, okay, that works. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that's yeah, a fun yeah, night. Yeah, that's yeah. the last fight I've been in. Okay. You and like yes, it. I don't fight though. Yeah, yeah. I don't fight at all. I've been taking jujitsu. Hmm. I've been taking jujitsu. I could fight though, but I just choose not to. Well, that's very healthy and respectable of yeah, you. Yeah, nobody don't want to fight me. Why? I got, you have to have a reason to why you want to fight me. Yeah. I talked to the, um, I made a laugh when I was in Miami uh, to the girls in grammar school. I'm like, I was, I went to Byler when I was in second grade and I had to fight that last week. I'm like, what was the reason? Yeah. Because I don't know the fucking reason why y'all want to fight me. Y'all try to jump on me and shit. Always a fucking third grade. Fourth. Third or fourth grade was that? Fifth. Mm. What was I getting picked on? What's I getting bullied? I can't. See, <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I can't see people being having the balls to bully you. I think you just kind of don't give a fuck enough to be bullied. Mm -mm. Nobody can't bully me. Only my mama. You so you 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 close with your mom? Hell yeah. 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 That's my motherfucking girl. I'm see. I think that's what I'm jealous about. I'm, I think I'm jealous of, of your 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 closeness with your family. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I got I got parents. My parents still married. Oh, that's good. What? They're still together? Mm -hmm. Oh no. Yeah. My mom was like a mistress. Oh. Yeah. I like that too. I, I was a spite baby. <laughs> I be wondering if I be the mistress in my future. <laughs> like, why be a mistress? Uh, I could see it. No, nah, I'll be married. I ain't gonna lie to you. Are you gonna be married? Hell yeah. Whoever get me pregnant or whatever, I will get married. So you want to have a baby? Hell no. Nah. I want to continue to swallow, but. Uh, I only talk about kids only when I'm in a relationship. I ain't been in two relationships in my do in my adulthood. Only two? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you had the one right before or around quarantine, and then what was the first one? The first one, I know we broke up with Donald Trump, got elected. Could, did he vote for Donald Trump? No, he cheated on me. 
Okay, that was a separate thing. It was she, a, she, I was just tired. Cheated on you with Donald Trump? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> he cheated on me. So I'm like, all right, you can't be faithful. It's cool. It is what it is. Yeah, he became my best friend. So. Oh well, that's cute. Yeah. Well, that's cute. When do you? What's your like? Uh, Man, drinking and smoking was a whole decision before doing this. What? It's okay. You're at home. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it is nice to be at home to be doing this. You want something to drink? No, he doesn't drink. Oh, he doesn't want some weed? He doesn't smoke. Okay. He's <laughs> wants some water. <laughs> you want a lie. <laughs> he a reasonable human being who is, is filming this, and I'm giving him money to do so. I appreciate you. Yeah, 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 I appreciate him as well. This is a good guy right here. You got You got a best friend? Yeah. Who's your plenty best friend? Yeah, plenty of best friends. Y'all wait, were you, how long you know them? Uh, besides comedy, um, all my friends, that's my best friend I've been on. Um, I got one is almost 20, 17 years, uh, 17 years and up. Mm. Would you die for him? Yeah. It depends. On what they did, yeah. All right, they kill, they kill somebody, and they're like, they're like Tiny. I don't know your real name. They're like Tiny. I had imagine your parents didn't name you Tiny Thickums. I hope to God. No, they did not. Okay. I had, I had this ass all my life. No. What's your name, Candace? No, my name was, my name was just Tiny. Okay. When I started doing comedy, I put thickums on it because I started getting thick. You started getting thick because of the comedy? Like the jokes were happening and then your ass just kept... Yeah, my ass kept on going. I was okay. happy as fuck. As it should be. Yeah, was, I was happy as hell. Like, oh, my ass growing. Let me so, keep fucking. So your nickname... Bef- for be- just tiny. Was just tiny and then comedy happened in the thickums. Yeah. And we're never going to know your real name. Because I don't know your real name. You don't know my real I name? I don't know your real it's, name. It's funny because everybody just started asking about my real name probably like last year. Recent? Okay, that means I think that means something. Yeah, shit, I've been knowing you all this time. I don't know your real name. <laughs> yeah, I don't like I. You gonna sidestep it? You're not gonna answer. You're gonna be tiny forever. Is that the goal? I can say my name. Okay. My real name is Lavandia. Wait, what is it? Lavandia. Talk about sexy all the time. God <laughs> damn! Why don't you go by that? What? Lavandia. Lavandia. Why don't you go by Lavandia? I don't, I don't know. Same thing as a character too. Right. Levante is a character, but my family don't call me Tiny. That's the funny thing too. Is 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 Tiny a character? Like, are you? It's you? me. It's, you? it's like part of my personalities. I got three. You said S personalities. Yeah. Okay, so we got Tiny Levante. Who's number three? Van Van. Van Van. Van Van. Van Van. Yep. All right, so you like Slim Shady, Eminem, <laughs> Rain Man. So Tiny is who you are on stage and performing. Outside. Lavandia is who you grew up as. Yeah, kind of, sort of. Okay. And then, That's my name. And then, but Von Von. Who's Von Von? That's who I grew up as, too. What's the difference between That's Levan- my nickname when it comes to my family and my friends. Everyone okay. Everyone knows me as Lavandia or Von Von. So these aren't, these aren't different personalities you got. Uh, it is. It can be. Stop being mysterious. I'm very mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you you you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So you 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 get into comedy, you become Tiny Thickums. I I don't say I said to myself I am going to use my name okay. in my joke, as a joke. Okay. Because it go all different types of ways. Some people think I'm ghetto. Some people are like, damn, where the fuck you from? Yeah. Like, if I get in a car with a Nigerian, the Vandios, hey, you're a Rastafari. I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm black and nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the, do, the, do, the, do the Nigerians really love the name? Do yeah. Love the name? Then I got the locks, the skin, the complexion. I enjoy the locks. Enjoy yeah. them. I love yours. Thank you. Thank you. I also got a nose piercing that shit, like, hurt. It hurt it, you pussy. Yeah. I'm emotional. I'm sensitive. You haven't picked up on that? You're a Taurus. Yeah. 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 I was, are Taurus is supposed to be sensitive? You don't even know about. My brother, my little brother is Taurus. Okay. Is he sensitive like me? No. Well, I don't know. We cool. He chill. He's silly. It seems like you're more connected to your uh, your older brother. I connect to both. My little brother's like my baby. Oh, well, yeah. that's cute. 
It was very motherly instinct. Yeah, that was very motherly. I am a mother type too. I cook. You cook? Yeah, I cook. What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your, okay. Guy comes over, you got to make him dinner. What do you cook? First of all, I will call the guy over. I ain't cooking no man shit. I'll call him over and say, do you want something to eat? You want to eat with me? <laughs> but I, I don't know. It'd be different dishes I would try. Okay. So it's like, it's never a particular meal. I'm like, oh, I want to try this. Hey, you want to come over and try this meal out with me? <laughs> See how it tastes? What's your type? What's your type of do? I don't got no type now. What's that mean? What do you mean? I'm open to whatever it make me happy. When it comes out today, it's like, I will prefer, I can say this, I will prefer a black man. Tall, tall dark, and handsome. Okay. okay. Or whatever. But at the same time, how life hit me, <laughs> you don't got to go for that motherfucker. <laughs> Date outside your race. Date different cultures. I think, all right, I'm not like against interrelate. I like how we talk tonight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I talk like this all the time, so it's okay with me. <laughs> not as Mr. Articulate, as Mr. Obama. This is an embarrassment for me. God damn. This is how I talk. <laughs> <laughs> this is me. <laughs> Fuck, boys. Uh, uh, inter- interracial relationship. Mm-hmm. I'm for inter... I'm good. Like It is what it is. Uh, yeah. I'd be a hypocrite if I, if I didn't. Yeah. But like, I don't... I'm real paranoid around white women. Okay. Like it's it, yeah, yeah. Very different. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's Bit, like it's very different. Yeah. How so? How how's it better? Everybody? I don't know. It's like it's just a like me personally. I'm like, is this a, just a fantasy? You want to fuck an ebony? Mm. Uh, can I meet your parents? It's your like I would think like that. Like, can I meet your parents? If your parents is open too. Yeah. Uh, you ever like been with a white person, like like in a real relationship? No, I only dated, uh, only dated. Okay, good luck. Uh, only dated. If yeah. you end up deciding to to try it, good luck. Yeah, I I, I will. Yeah, like I would, I would, I would, I would do a lot of shit. That's the thing about me. I would do so much shit. Like I would say, I would try the poly relationship or all three. You know, three people get yeah. together and all that. And I, I said this too. It could be two men. Okay. Two men is just me. At the end of the day, I do have a type. They both gotta be fine as fuck. Cause when I come in the room, it's like a goddamn. Okay, so you want? <laughs> would you be fine with the two dudes being bi and fucking mm-hmm. each other? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It seems like you just like love. Yeah, love on me. You just like as long as the love is on you. As long as you love me, I'm okay. Connected, <laughs> uh, splattered, whatever the type of love is, as long as it involves you, you're good. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's, that makes me selfish. No, I think um, that makes you uh, a little bit. A little bit. I'm the only girl, so. Maybe that's part of it. You And you a middle child? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My parents love me. <laughs> There's something about middle children that like, that want. You know what I mean? Yeah. Want the attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's about me. Technically a middle child. I got two younger half brothers. They're twins. Mm -hmm. And then two older sisters. They're not twins. So I'm like, I'm kind of middle-ish. You you middle-ish. Yeah. And I don't really know my dad's side all that well. Okay. Yeah. My mom's side is aggressive. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's. (laughs) Sorry. It's fine. I'm getting through it. You know? Yeah. You... You here? Yeah, no, you just seem happy. Like you seem like you live life just happy. I do. It's a a trait that I have. <laughs> that life happy. Be grateful. At the end of the day, it's a lot of people that don't have opportunities, don't have a home, all that type of shit. So it's like shit. I gotta be grateful for whatever's going on in my life. Mm-hmm. So it's like, cause it's a lot of people that's fucked up. Mm-hmm. When how did you um how did you get the 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 the, the dirty show at, at Laugh, Laugh Factory? Factory? Yeah, how that shit happened? Oh shit, that was such a surprise to me. All right, so it was one time. Or so when I started doing comedy in my beginning mm-hmm. in the year, I started going. Uh, comedian Buckwell, he had wrote me on Facebook. He said, "Yo, come to the Nasty Show, to Laugh Factory." I never been. He said, "Ask for a guest spot." I'm like, "Okay, cool." So, 
I did that that Saturday. Got, got to get spot. Shout out to Brian. <laughs> got to get spot. Like, oh, okay. So I did the same thing that next week. Same shit. It was 1130. I ain't doing shit. I'll go do comedy. So I started being consistent. Consistent just going up there to the Laugh Factory. The next you know, I started getting booked at the Laugh Factory. I'm like, oh, okay. Then last year, uh, not last year, two years ago, whatever, two years ago, I had Tex Curtis. I had did a show at the Laugh Factory. Tex Curtis drunk. I said, can I uh, host a nasty show one time for the one time? Then he texted me like, oh, I was actually thinking about you doing it next year. You working here, being the host forever. 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 Yeah. So, yeah, that's how I got in there. Nice. It was amazing. It's yeah. amazing uh, the next, well, by me doing comedy for four years. Ooh. Some people didn't probably get the opportunity in the four years. And how do you, I don't know, what was it like when you first saw your name? Everything is still surreal to me. I still go, oh, that's me. <laughs> I'm right there. It's still surreal. Like, on some real ass shit, it's still surreal. Like, damn. Yeah. And I got the dopest flyer. I ain't gonna lie, the dopest motherfucking flyer on the marquee. I enjoy the flyer. Yeah, yeah, it's sick. It, it definitely stands out. Yeah, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> you ever get recognized? Yeah, from my job, uh, being up north. Yeah, I'm walking from my job. Yeah, I get recognized. I see you like, at work and like, aren't you the, the? I get that sometimes, or when I be walking, they're like, <sighs> Tiny. I'm like, what's up, motherfucker? I don't know. So it's like, I just say, what's up, motherfucker? Like, what's up? I was just at your show. Oh, this dope as fuck. You know me. I'm regular. I'm That's, walking. <laughs> that must be amazing. But like you doing, you really doing it. Yeah. Yeah. In the hood, I I get called the funny girl. In the hood. Mm-hmm. Hey, you the funny girl. Oh, yes, I am. Yeah. At least you know me. <laughs> That's better than you being the unfunny girl. Yeah. That's a fact. So like. I set a goal for myself every year. Cause I come up with uh, different, different shit how I could be better in comedy. So I really don't think about the future that much. I'll be like really concentrating on how I'm finna be this person this year. Then I'm gonna set a goal for myself next year. It's gonna be something different. Mm. So it's like the future, like then they say everybody future. Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna be on stage. I'm, gonna, you know, be on tour. Everybody, you know, everybody, and uh, meet all these comedians and you know be book all of them. I, like I got a feeling that's gonna happen regardless. Mm. So it's like, uh, go wild. I want to set out the United Center. Yeah, that's a go. That's on the west side. See, so see. So if I get money, the fuck was this? The west side. Oh, this is the west side. Yeah, west side. This is west side. <sighs> okay, okay. <laughs> no, go ahead. You get money. Yeah, it's like at the end of the day, it's like shit. When it comes down to me building my audience, building uh, the person I am, because at the end of the day, I have to think about people don't like my comedy, too. Right. It's some people that don't like it. You just don't give a fuck, huh? No, it's it's a preference. Like, that's anybody's preference. And people are like, oh, I don't like your comedy. It's people that love the fuck out of your comedy. So it's like, you're going to have those type of people, too. <laughs> like, what's going on in life? Like, who's going to be the next people that going to come to my show? That's how I be looking at it. The nasty person who loved me at the end of the day, I am uh, great at what I do. I'm great at hosting. Um, and I'm just building that up because that's my goal for this year, hosting more events. Mm. And I had host Reggie's last weekend. This was my first time hosting outside of Laugh Factory. How'd it go? It was so motherfucking wonderful. Yeah. It was fun as fuck. It was fun. It was a band and everything. So I'm like, oh, shit, I did it. And I was like so happy for myself that I did this type of – I did a different type of comedy. Well, it's still the same, but a little bit. You t- toned it down a little bit? Toned it down a little bit mm. until the end. <laughs> and it's because of the headline. Uh, Shane uh, Shane Anthony. Mm. You know her? Mm-mm. Yeah, she been on comedy for three years. Uh, yeah, she was talking dirty. I was like, you was talking nasty, and I was not even trying to talk nasty, but – Hey, this cool. Yeah. So I gave uh, people a preview of my show. So it was dope as fuck. Yeah. So it's like it was very different. I love it. That's awesome. So I'm like, cool. I could do it now, for real. Like, cause I really say I could host anything. I look forward to your success. I look forward to seeing it. Like, I don't know. I think you deserve it. Thanks. Yeah. You deserve everything you want to do. What you want to do? 
Do you love comedy? I Good. love it. I wouldn't have moved here if I didn't. Okay, so you moved here for comedy. I moved here because I moved here for two reasons. Okay. I moved here to escape a really dangerous, uh, unhealthy situation. Okay. And I moved here for comedy. Oh, cool, um, dope. Yeah, part of the I I think Chicago has the best comics. Like that is a fact. I oh. can really say that. I, yeah. We it's on it's, it's it's I mean LA has famous comics, but they don't for the most part they're not from LA. Like most of those famous comics are transplants from from Brooklyn or Chicago or 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 Boston. Mm-hmm. They all or Atlanta. They all went to LA after they got successful. Yeah. Um but you don't really see many like born and raised LA comedians and or new, you know you see new york or whatever yeah uh it's the new york comedians that's still new york as mm, well. new york is a new yeah. york it was a different new york is uh I, I love the love out there yeah comedy wise i haven't been there yet so I still oh yes yeah, so when i went out there it was most definitely uh yeah <laughs> it, it's gonna build your heads to fuck up I like have. i got boo yes yeah, i think we got boo 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 in New York, you got booed? I got booed. What happened? Why? All right, so first of all, I was sexy as fuck. Of course. Or whatever. As it See-through be. outfit or whatever, heels on, looking good as hell, hair done, or whatever. Get on stage or whatever, I said, what's up, motherfuckers? Did my little intro, all that. There was, there was, it was not that many people laughing, but they were like, okay. Next thing I did, uh, my uh, eating ass joke, I said, uh, Ladies, y'all like y'all ass ache? Somebody said, boo. I looked around, said, I boo-boo myself or something? Hmm? <laughs> I said, oh, you, <laughs> y'all let y'all suck enough dick. When I said that, boo went like a motherfucker. I'm like, oh, y'all don't. The song came on, and I had walked off stage. How much time went by? I only did probably like, I supposed to do seven minutes. It was a competition. I supposed to do like seven. I'm guessing you didn't win that competition. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. I did f- five minutes. Four or five minutes. They just didn't even. Yeah. It's like, I was like, okay. But then that's when I talked to uh, Rob Stapleton at the end. Yeah. He said, first of all, what the fuck you got on, yo? You too fucking sexy. He said, all these women out here, they with their men. At the end of the day, New York Women's Day is uh, very insecure about their men. Or whatever. Like, at the end of the day, you can't have a nice body. If you if you looking, it's like, what the fuck you looking at? <laughs> like, you looking at her? That's what the fuck you want? It's like, damn. So it's a different, it's a it's, whole different it's, culture. It's a different culture, like, for real. Right. I did great. I did good out there when I did perform. But it's like, that show was, that's what, I got booed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then I had to start wearing t-shirts and jeans to shows and being regular. How was that for you? Oh, that was fine. Oh, okay, okay. People yeah. laugh. <laughs> oh, she's a regular co- comedian. She's a human. Regular All right, human. she's Chicago. Nobody else okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, but uh, it's most definitely a growth. I I love going to New York. Yeah. It's for the growth, though. I want a comedian. I want to go to New York, too, eventually, but I think I want to live in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Chicago is a great place. Yeah. Great place for economy. It's a great atmosphere. Great city. I, it's just the stupid shit that go on in the city. That's all. What, when, when you That's mean all st- stupid shit, what you mean? Violence. Ah. Yeah, that, that, that disappoints me, actually. Like, yeah. Why? What, what's going on? I don't on? know. Shit, I don't know what the fuck going You're on. You're not the one starting it? You're not the one starting the, shit. the GDs and the PTEDs and the EMPDs? You is the only person I... Two people. Okay. You're the second person I talk to today. Okay. Like on the phone. I don't talk to people. Mm. Three. Third person. <laughs> Four. Five, six, seven. No, it's three. Twenty-three. On the phone. Okay. Yeah. I ain't counting my grandma. <laughs> the third person I talked to today. I'm really a loner. That surprises the hell out of me. What you really? Mean? I'm yeah. a loner. Because you're so bubbly. You're so like. Me going outside. <laughs> I'm outside. <laughs> hey. Hey, motherfuckers. Like no, but like okay, like I feel like a loner. I I'm I feel like when I go into spaces, people look at me, but I get quiet. I want to talk uh, to nobody. Do you go outside by yourself? Do I go outside by myself? Yeah, yeah, I'm a grown man. I, you know. No, I'm like, do you go to bars by yourself? Do you go to clubs by yourself? Do you? Yeah, yeah, I've done that. Okay. Yeah. How was it? Was it fun? 
Did you enjoy it? Was you sociable? I used to be. Okay. A quarantine so. changed me. Okay, gotcha. Quarantine, like, I used to um, want a lot more validation. I used to be loud. When I would go into a room, I made sure everyone saw me. And then quarantine happened, <laughs> and I was like, oh, I don't like no, I don't want to be around nobody. I'm quiet. I don't know. When you see me at Mike's, you see, and I disappear, like, I'm good. Yeah. I don't need to be around people. So when you say, like, you talk to three, four people today, I, re- I relate to that. I'm just surprised because the way you present yourself is so open. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't got that mean. I don't talk to that mean motherfuckers either. It's like, if people call me, I will answer. If I feel like, I will, if I feel like answering, I will answer. If I don't, I don't. That means I don't feel like talking. So you don't hate me? No. Nice. Why, you, why you think I hate you? Because I have a lot of insecurities. What about what? What? You want to fuck me? I fuck. mean, of course, but no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Because you didn't fuck what? <laughs> no, that's never been an issue. It's been the opposite. <laughs> it's been the opposite. Like, I, <clears throat> I based most of my self-worth on the ability to have sex with women. That's beautiful. Yeah. Come on. And I did. Like I, I got to this place where I'm still I'm still trying to to connect in the South Side. Like I'm getting better at it. I'm getting more understanding of myself and or then, whatever. I'm gonna tell you something. When it comes to Chicago period, when it comes to comedy, it's a grind. That's it, that's all. Hmm. It's a fucking grind. I could tell you this now. I've been to most of the rooms in Chicago. When it comes out to North Side, when it comes out to South Side, West Side, whatever. I've been to all those rooms. At the end day, it's like, oh, this motherfucker consistent. Yeah. Consistent, consistent is key on some frill shit. Consistent as fuck. At the end of that, I could do it. I don't have no kids. Mm. I don't have responsibilities. I could just walk the fuck out. <laughs> I I am consistent. I'm around. Yeah. So the thing is, like me now, it's like I know for a fact I don't be up north a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, all right, so I'm finna start switching up the rooms like I did before mm-hmm. when I first started doing comedy. You know, start switching up, uh, going to different rooms, showing support, but they have to have a show probably if I can enjoy it. Sometimes I don't like open mics. Why? Uh, with full of comedians, uh, it could be very <sighs> draining. Draining. Uh, can I work out this joke? Would you laugh? Whatever. <laughs> so it's like, that's the reason why I like going to open mics where it's actually people there. Mm. And I know for a fact I get a response when I do a new joke. Right, right, right. So you know, like real audience members, so you know if the joke is actually a... Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. are like, that should be... Uh, some of it should be freestyle or yeah. whatever, and I can appreciate that like a motherfucker. But that's a sense of humor in me. It's like something that come off the top or whatever. Like yesterday. What you done for my show yesterday? I, I didn't stay longer. Okay. I was hanging out, talking to Erica, and then I yeah, did. okay. I had said a joke about uh, the white man or whatever. I said, "Well, I did the white girl. Um, we had sex with a white woman, like a pussy, and like nothing, just like a cooking." And I said, "Oh, I got something for you, white man, too." Or I said, "The first white man I came across, or whatever." I said, "We ended up having sex," and he said, "Opa." Opa. Opa. Okay. So I didn't know what the fuck to do. So I said, bah, 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 bah. so a year later, right? I found out what fuck Opa mean. Opa mean praise is celebration. So he was celebrating my pussy. You know how gifted this motherfucker is when I feel <laughs> realize that. <laughs> he gets streamers. God, <laughs> day, celebrating. That's that's simp to a whole other level. That's, that's an, what somebody almost that before. Uh, when he bust a nut, he, his heart stopped. And I was like, yo, what the fuck I'm finna tell your mom if you die? Because I'm finna walk the fuck off. Like, she killed it. Come on, man. Uh, but at the same time, she got going like, hey. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, you killed my baby. I ain't do shit. <laughs> okay. You ever, okay. You ever, okay, okay. You ever been with a trans woman, trans man and or woman? Nope. Would you? Yep. You ever pegged a dude? I want to. No dude to let you? I had a few offers. Why didn't you take them? It's not that I take them. It's, I don't know. It's if whenever they're ready. 
What you mean whenever they're ready? If they I, offered, they're not they ready. They offered, but at the same time, shit, no, you got to pay me. That's something new. Okay, okay. That's the side hustle. That's how you make yeah, it. You do some dominatrix shit. I am an entrepreneur. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you, like, fuck your day job. Why don't you just be a dominatrix? That feels like. I have been, uh, I want to get into that. I do. That's something I do want to get into, the dominatrix. That feels like lucrative, easy, fun for you. Like I need to find a place I do it. That's the thing. I don't know nothing. What you mean a place? What, you got to go to a dungeon? What you mean? I will go to a dungeon. Find, find vampires? I was in a dungeon before. I, went to, I, I did a kinky bingo. Well, not kinky. It was a kinky party I went to. The fuck is kinky okay, kinky party or kinky bingo? A kinky party. I don't think about it. I want to hear about what is was, was there no, bingo at the kinky no. party? <laughs> no, that's a comedian a comedy show. Kinky oh, okay. Bingo. <laughs> okay. Y'all naked while you B B twelve. No, that's a um, comedy show. Okay, um, okay. You got went to a pink kinky party. Kinky party. Okay. How and it was a um so it was a house. It was so fucking nice. Then we had to go to the attic attic and it was a dungeon, like well, it was women had big ass fucking titties just running around. It was a lady on the um, on the board. She was getting fire put on her back. Yeah, and okay. she was getting wet from it. So then it was they had uh, little sticks or whatever you could tie a person up. Yeah, and get whipped. Do you do, uh, do you li- okay? I feel like you're versatile, but I'll ask directly: Are you dominant or sub? I could be both. Yeah, versatile. Yeah. Interesting. Would you have a preference? Uh, no. It's a bit, <sighs> It's be dependent. Like if I'm okay. with, uh, see, I've been hooking up with a lot of bitch ass niggas, so it's like that made me dominant. Why do you? Why? Okay, do you like <sighs> hooking up with bitch ass niggas? No. So <laughs> why are you hooking up with bitch ass niggas? Cause uh, they got good dick, but same time. <laughs> All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Same time, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> what? <laughs> go ahead. No, yeah. they could be a man at first, then turn to a bitch. But like they fake being a man. I could be more dominant. That's the thing, and I don't like that. You don't like that when it's come down to a man. No. Why? You prefer to be dominant with a woman. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Why are you so wishy washy right now? It's like I can. Oh well, it depends. What type? Of, well, I really don't like studs. No. I feel like <laughs> if I date a woman, right, okay. and I date a femme. Honestly, okay. a film, a girly girl. Uh, I feel like I would have to be the dominant one. Okay. Have to be or want to be? I would. Uh, I feel like I have to be because I talk to very pretty women. Mm. Interesting. So it's like, a, all right, I did say, do you want to fuck? So now I got to bring strap out. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> that's how it is. And you get to pick your inches. That's not fair. You didn't have to earn that yourself with biology, with genetics. Oh, uh, yeah. I got big dicks. You just, you just paid for 12-inch penises? I got, no, that one. 10. You said that one. I got a 10 one. Oh, I got a 10 one. I got a 12 one, too. Okay. Yeah. Them two dicks. Jesus okay. Christ. The girls ever like, can you pick out a smaller one, please? I ain't fucking woman in a long time. You seem so sad about that. You, I ain't done it in a, in a I minute. I ain't did it in a minute. Mm, God I'm damn. Sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. Coming soon. I believe in you. God damn. This is the weirdest podcast I think I've done so far. Yeah. Sorry. This was that anticipated. Were you expecting for that to be the case? We're going to do another one. Are we going to do another yeah. one? <laughs> I, I, okay. To go back to, to the whole uh, perception thing. Uh, the 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 um the fuck was I saying the Domin- what? dominatrix dominate I don't know. I don't know if it was that kinky the kinky party I went to <sighs> yeah I think so did you win did you win the party uh I did the, uh I tried to do the skirt contest all right. It didn't work. I was coming a lot, but I couldn't squirt. And can you make yourself squirt now? Yeah, yeah. Roosevelt did that. How, who's Roosevelt? Oh, um, my rose toy. <laughs> you, well, you're okay. <laughs> you saying things as if I know all the the whole point of the podcast. You don't know about Roosevelt. Everybody know about Roosevelt. I don't. I don't. I don't Roosevelt think I, is a rose toy that I have. That's what I mean. Okay, that's Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Okay. And he, he, it, them, he, they. He, he, his name is Roosevelt. Of course. 
He had um, made me squirt for the first time. Yeah. But you can and, and oh, you can only make it happen with Roosevelt now. Yep. So to go to the sword contest, you got to bring Rose. Is that like taking steroids though, in like baseball? Like, is having Roosevelt cheating? Some um, I did have somebody that said like, "Oh, I got to throw this motherfucker away." Like, no, the fuck you don't. Don't ever touch him ever again. Disrespect Roosevelt like that. Like that, and I hate when people touch my toy, Roosevelt. Respect. Don't don't but the touch. The other toys Rose- is fine, but not Roosevelt. When it comes down to the dick or whatever, you slap it or whatever. Say, hey, hey. Christoph, that's nice. Christoph is the other one? Christoph is a clear dick I put on the wall. <laughs> this is the stupidest fucking pocket. <laughs> Can I say most of my episodes are like, so what was your life going on? Like, what what did your parents do to you? Oh, this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you want to go and get deep? What's your parents? Uh, my I, parents are married. I, uh, you, how you with that? All right, so you had trauma in your life. My parents married, so this is something that you never had before. You had trauma in your life. So my mom, dad, hey, they had us. We say as a family, uh, we got apartments, we got houses. <laughs> yeah, this is what my life was like. It's, it's, What's a good school? Top ten. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What about your life? Uh, don't really no, talk no. about my life. You're make me feel bad about my life. That wouldn't come to that deep podcast. You, 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 like, you, you, your life seems magical. I have my mom, my dad, I got my older brother, my younger brother. I fuck. Uh, I'm happy. I love everybody. My life is great. I'm a stand-up comedian at the Laugh Factory. Uh, I come. I know how to make myself squirt specifically with Gerald. What is it? Roosevelt. With Roosevelt. Uh, mm-hmm. There was this one man who was also there. He was white. I got his money and his dick. Bitch ass dick. Like, your life is perfect. The way you describe it. Thanks. That was beautiful. You're welcome. I, I love how you just put that all together. Yeah, yeah, I've been listening to you. I've been taking in all the information. That is beautiful. Yeah, you down to do this again eventually? Yeah, absolutely. It, I'm gonna start my podcast too, so most definitely. I look forward to being on it. Uh, you, you don't even. You, it, I don't get the vibe that you have an insecure bone in your body. No. That is why. I like you. Mm-mm. Well, I'm insecure about. Say what? I said, well, I got to be insecure about I don't know. I'm asking questions. <clears throat> you ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. You're perfect. Uh, it's not perfect. I don't got shit to be insecure about. At the end of the day, insecurities. Uh, what people be insecure about if they may look good, if a bitch try to talk to him or anything or whatever. Like, uh, this is the reason why I'm with you. You look good. I expect motherfuckers to talk to you. Because motherfuckers going to talk to me for sure. <laughs> you can't be insecure. It's a lot of people that is insecure when it comes to answer that type of shit, too. About sex or themselves in general? Themselves, when it comes to sex, when it comes to outings. I can't date an insecure man or a woman. See, I'm always going to flirt. I'm always going to say something stupid. I see. I see. That's me. Yeah. Oh, you got a big dick. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> what you just said to him? I asked him, do he have a big dick? Let me see. <laughs> See, he not finna do it for real. You don't know that, <laughs> huh? He, Some motherfuckers not gonna do it. It'd be sparing a fucking moment. You see, like you. Okay, okay, okay. Can you pick up on how just as sexual I am relative to you? Can you? Are you good with picking up on vibes with people? Mm-hmm. Okay, so could you? As soon as you met me, were you like, oh, this dick fucks. He does crazy shit. Could you tell? I could say you was crazy a little bit. How could you tell it's crazy? I don't know. Okay. It's probably locks or the way you dressed. It's probably the boots that you had on. Uh, I always got the boots. You had the boots. Not anymore. Now I got yeah, the Nikes, boy. You got the Nike boots now. I'm proud uh-huh, of you. Uh huh. I'm going to go down. Uh, I'm going to go down to the bar 10. I'm yeah. Stand up there. We'll see what happens. So it was probably like, all right, he's something crazy about him. But I'm like, at the end of the day, it's like, if I could imagine having sex and shit with you, I'm like, he probably be a good sex. He probably talk to a motherfucker. Oh a yeah, you are so beautiful. Yeah, close your eyes. Yeah. You think you're fucking Obama. <laughs> he had a nice voice. Thank you. So it's like shit. It's funny the sex stuff on my end. Like that's not what I have insecurities about. Like the sexual stuff, the trans women, the the things, the pegging, all that shit. I don't. Well, I date straight, probably straight men too. You said what? Straight men. That's who, who you've only dated. Yeah, it was 
a lot of them is not into a lot of shit. It's, I think it's like an insecurity of masculinity. Yeah, so it's like me saying, oh, I want to be with another man too. Uh, what? I'm not going to be with no other man. <laughs> oh, okay. Won't you date? You, you never been with a bi, guy, guy that's bi? Mm-mm. But I, I feel like that'd be up your alley, like you would like I that. don't feel like it too, but uh, I'll probably talk to DL, you know, DL man. I don't know. I knew an ex that um, did this on, on on the low. He didn't tell me about it, but he did he this on the low. Was, was he black? Yep. I got a question. As, as a person that is, is ingratiating themselves in the black community and get to grow up in the black community. What I've been noticing, a lot of homophobia, specifically with black men, a lot of insecurities about like uh, their own masculinity. Like a lot of like, uh, nigga, emotions, that's gay. Shit like that. Where where's that come from? As a person that's with like straight dudes or presenting straight I'll dudes. I'll probably try more of that shit. Yeah. Show me your life. I don't know. Yeah, th- I don't know what's going on in the black man life. Like, I don't fucking know. I don't know. You got touched by your uncle. I don't know. You been in jail. Um, you know, got bronze stuck up your ass. I don't know shit. How long you was in jail? I don't know nothing. I could assume a lot. Yeah. But I don't know shit that's going on. So it's like, uh, 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 I'm just a girl, a woman, mm. like, like both. Everybody's beautiful. To me, so. I'm gonna find some way to envelop your spirit. Go see me damn quotes in the morning and shit. You said post in the, your post in the morning. I said quotes. Yeah. Oh. You gonna we're gonna I'm gonna clip this episode. I'll probably cut out the. I don't know if I'll cut out the part where I was peeing. Cause I'm lazy. It's okay. Yeah. You at home? I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You is at home. I think. Hey, it's a studio, so it's like it's a lot. There's not exactly many places to go to, yeah, to, to escape yeah. other people if they're there. Yeah, you you in the studio? It's close, and it's, everything is just right there. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you don't hate me. I just, I'm just trying to figure out why you feel like I hate. It has it. nothing to do with you. And uh, I promise, you, it's it's. Oh, uh, it's, it's it's not me. It's you. Yeah. Because well, okay. you don't know, you don't know my background really. No, I don't. I'm willing to get to know you. Could, um, you can ask ask me something then. Shit, I, I feel like you just came out with a fucked up story already. Damn. What you mean? We said, oh, yeah, I came to Chicago. Whatever happened at home, it was fucked up. It was yeah, it was real yeah, fucked up. It was real fucked up. Yeah, it was real bad. Real How old bad. are you? Uh, thirty one. Thirty one. Okay. It's real bad. Dangerous, violent, crazy. Did you just did a one way ticket to, to Chicago? Yeah, I don't never come. I don't. I. Have I, you was talking to people before you came out here? I don't know nobody out here. You just came out here. Yeah, I I when I tell you that it, this was frustrating. The way I speak is frustrating because because people don't expect me to have come from struggle. Mm-hmm. The way I sound implies yeah. that like oh life was great <laughs> and you have hey you rich. <laughs> yeah, people think that you wealthy. Uh, people think that. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not rich. The fuck? I could tell by the the boots when we first met. <laughs> the construction I, boots. Yeah, I like this is a, either a hard worker man. I don't know what the fuck you do, <sighs> but same time when it comes down to uh, me knowing people, I I love everything to, for it to be genuine, mm. not forced. Yeah. I love genuine friendships. Same. So it's like when it comes down to uh, me coming over here, this just start a start our friendship. I hope so. It did. Oh, yeah, I know where the fuck you stay now, and I ain't gonna walk the other way. <laughs> That's some shit happens. Well, you go. I saw, I saw some nigga. I said, oh, I'm in Rogers Park. I don't know where the fuck I'm at, and then we walk the other way. Let me come to come to Aaron's place. He'll give me safe haven. Some if the zombies. Oh, come, you about to bus stop? Oh, that's good. <laughs> All right, I, that's Kimber down there. All right, cool. No, I it, 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 like. I'm happier now. I'm getting. I think what my what it is is my goal is to get to where your headspace is now. Yeah. But I don't. I'm not there. Not even close. Yeah. Like, I super. I'm super paranoid. I don't trust people. I the 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 violence that I endured and the uh, the gaslighting, all yeah. that shit. It was it was really bad. 
like okay. way worse than I think people understand. So my frustration when I when I went to the South Side for the first time and I started doing rooms, mm -hmm. I was frustrated because I got this feeling of like, I mean, this nigga's soft. He ain't. That that was the vibe I got, especially yeah. from black men. Black women, were, it was a different feel. Hey, at the end of the day, when it comes to that type of shit, make a joke about it. And I'm I'm. But at the same time, when I saw you at Red Star, you did very great. At where? Red Star. Oh, oh that was the most recent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You thank did great. You. Yeah, I was uh work working on it. Mm. Like I'm I'm getting to a place now where I'm loving myself. Yeah. As of recent, super recent. Yeah. Uh, and so when I'm like, oh, Tiny hates me. When it ain't nothing with you, you love you clearly. You've been saying that you love everybody. You just you have a, a bright light about you, yeah. and that's why, like, I and want, I could be fucked up. I believe it. I could be so fucked up. People would not never know. Never. Yeah, please elaborate. No, I could be fucked up. People would never know. What you mean, fucked up? Fucked up, broke. Mm -hmm. I believe fucked it. up. Interesting. And people would never know. Cause you hide it. <laughs> Yeah. Why? Why hide it? What? If motherfucker gonna give me some money? Motherfucker gonna eat? Gonna say, damn, gonna well, give me some money? Mm. <laughs> I'm fucked up. Uh, black person? Damn, what's going on? Now you're gonna hear a sob bad story at the end of the day. You still can't even fucking help me. I thought I just told you my sob bad story. Uh, so you might as well just say, fuck it, let me keep moving forward. <laughs> yes. I, I hate that. Now, that's a pet peeve. What, what, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, let me, no. let me, let me hear the a, reality I hate it because when people be saying some shit to me or whatever if I know for a fact I can't help them I'm like I can't even help you you don't gotta even tell me the story it's really I can't help you what if you can if I can I can okay with my little sob stories do you think you cannot help me or do you think you can help me I can't help you why do you think that I can't help nobody <laughs> I can't help nobody. It's like shit. I'm really just gonna help my damn self. Hmm. Help myself. That's the only thing I could do at this moment. But can until that's the reason why I'm in the process or whatever, just get my life together. Like that's the manif when I be uh meditating. Mm -hmm. All right. yeah, we back to meditation. Yeah, we came uh, full circle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heard a call back. <laughs> <laughs> so so you can't help you okay so you're helping yourself right now that's your head that's your headspace and by helping yourself your goal is to become successful as a comedian tour make that money and get that success yeah is fame a part of that does that matter to you hell no okay i feel like i'm always gonna be a regular person i take fucking cta fair my face on the marquee is like i can have so many stalkers yeah you like you know what i'm I mean? surprised I, you haven't I, been murdered no. <laughs> you don't have no stalkers? Nobody ever been weird with you? Oh, uh, what? You talking about DMs? DMs are DMs. No, nah, like some, someone oh. who's taking it. Mm -mm. Well, good for you. Well, at the I don't be. And I pick energy up very well for me to hang out with you outside or not. Mm. So it's like. I don't see murdery? Hell no. <laughs> No, I ain't got the capacity to kill to kill a man. Uh, no, <laughs> you'll know. You'll know. <coughs> you 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 could be very defensive, like you can't protect or whatever. But say it's that. No, you don't know. You don't know what I did. No, you could you could protect. Well, you did come from. You don't know, you know how many niggas I killed. Yeah, yeah. I, you know I how many people I taken out. You moved from California to come to Chicago. I don't know what the fuck you did now. Yeah, oh, you a murderer. <laughs> I'm crazy. I need. I came here to to be with my people. <laughs> I don't even live here. This ain't my apartment. I killed these niggas, took the apartment, put the flags up. I live in old block. Are you mixed? Uh, yeah. What? Uh, my mom's black, dark mm. black. And then my dad is black, uh, like Spanish Filipino. Okay. Yeah. Why are you different? What you mean I'm different? Spanish Filipino. I ain't mm. never met a Spanish Filipino before. <laughs> yeah, I am, I'm pretty sick. You're the first. Mm, yeah. I'm working on my Spanish. Okay. That's what I do want to do formally. Yeah. It doesn't matter. No importa. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you want to learn Spanish? Yeah, hell yeah. Why? Why do you want to learn Spanish? That's a great line. Well, at the end of the day, when it comes down to job, when it comes down to That's fair. Uh, <laughs> talking to people, yeah. also, Spanish. This uh, role is uh, English and Spanish. 
Yeah, the well, sign Chicago. Yeah, of course, of course. The sign language mm-hmm. thing has helped me out. Sign language. I was watching this movie on Netflix. Don't ask me what. Uh, uh, deaf you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, damn. That shit would be dope, too. Yeah, I'm an American Sign Language interpreter. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm, it's my day job. Oh, you can teach me Spanish and shit? I can pay you? I can teach you sign language. Yeah, I'm dead ass serious. I can teach you. You you actually want to learn? Yeah, hell yeah. I don't believe you. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. I like the little jingly jangle, too. You heard it? Some, that added some yeah. spice to it. You see, I've been learning some shit on yeah. TV. Yeah, <laughs> nah, nah. I've been I've been an interpreter since about 2015. I think. Oh, that's dope as fuck. Thank you. Yeah, I love when motherfuckers just tell me about the shit they do. Oh, well, there's I ain't gonna lie to you. It's like me personally. I am. Uh, I do comedy at night. Uh, work in the daytime. Mm. Okay, I have a question, Tiny. What? Lorenz, Lorenz, or Loretta Scott's King, King. I got a question for you. What was it? Va- Vana, Vana, was it? Lavandia. Le- yeah, yeah, totally. The Lavandia. I, I like the way how I said it. Levan- what? I like how I said it. Said it. Lavandia. Lavandia. <laughs> Lavandia. Well, let me see. Uh, Lavandia. Yes. Lavandia. I want to make it. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. I can't even remember my question anymore. What was my question? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you don't hate me. Well, that's been established. Mm-hmm. Okay. You have positive feelings about me. Absolutely. Okay. I want to hang out with you outside of comedy. Absolutely. Okay. I'll message you in the future about that. Okay. Okay. Tomorrow. Uh, okay. I'll message you tomorrow. I'm doing mushrooms tomorrow. <gasps> yeah. Tomorrow Monday, right? Tomorrow is Monday. Monday. It's the day off. I got the day off. Me too. Well, I'm doing so. I'm doing mushrooms, and I uh, I need to have another spiritual experience. You know what I mean? I need to work on myself. Yeah. Yeah. You don't, but you're already a full person, so you don't need to do mushrooms to like work on yourself. How you know? I don't know. I guess I'm asking. Uh, yeah, I can say everything off camera too. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna explain everything. Mm, that's what I was looking for. That's yeah. what I see. See, that's why it's I want, a podcast. It is a podcast. Yeah. But that's that's what I want to so like oh, that's a mystery part in me. <laughs> you know what you did? You know what you just signed? Because you did sign something. You, you signed finger spell. Finger spell? Yeah, finger spelling is when you uh is when you is when you spell things using your hands. So like right now hold on. This is gonna be whatever. Right now I can use sign while also talking, which is cool. The camera can't see that at all, but it is what it is. So, like, right now, if I wanted, I can continue this conversation, but also use sign language. Cool. Yeah, you don't give a fuck. You don't care that was just cool as fuck. I understand everything you just said <laughs> without even saying it. Oh, shit. Uh, Ken's here. Hey, Shoaib, can you grab Ken? Okay. All right. Uh, yo, the cameraman's coming out to grab you. Um, Ken flies. Okay. okay. I am, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never met this man before. For real? Yeah. Oh, Literally, this will be about the first time I've met him. You've had so much fun. I'm so excited to talk you to you. You've had so much fun. I love you, Shoei. Um, You've had so much fun. Um, no, but I want to. I want to. The the purpose of this podcast, outside of comedy and work and everything, is mm. to sincerely get to know people. It yeah. was just an excuse to get to know people. I don't do well in crowds with people. You know what okay. I mean? That's why, like, when you see me in, you out, just be to yourself. Yeah, because I don't. I don't. I learned that's not me. Like I'm not the guy. I don't. I don't need to be. Everyone look at me. Like okay. I. Just, I want to talk. I want to get to know people. And you are someone I've always wanted to get to know since I moved here. Cause you're you. There is a. There's something about you. Thanks. Yeah. This is so sweet. <sighs> for a person that I don't see just doing comedy, and for you to say this to me, I'm like, this is very sweet. Well, I'm learning. And about- this is like, uh, yeah. when the connect uh, I just think this is very genuine. Thank Dream you. as fuck. So, yeah, you are gonna be my friend. <laughs> Ooh, do I get to see the 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 the, the I know where you stay. No. You know where I stay. That feels like a threat somehow. I well, I know you can know where, where I stay. stay. I don't know yeah. where you stay. You know where I stay. Do I? I never been to your. I room. say you would. Oh, eventually. Yeah. yeah. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you I, would. Uh, I've been getting real good at spades, by the way. I, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm, a, oh, I'm so happy. Fuck niggas up in spades. Yeah, I promise I'm you. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I get it. Do now. you got cards? 
Uh, I got cards. I got I got this little app on my phone. I've been playing bit computers. <laughs> I'm old. You put me in a space. I'm going to fuck niggas up. Bring Larry. Yeah. You tell Larry to come here <laughs> to play me in space. I don't, we don't need partners. Just me and Larry. So got all in my face. Got all fucking excitable. I was real mad about that. I'm a very competitive person. But no, mm. but I, I... Yeah, that's so hilarious. <laughs> I very much enjoy... like. I came I came out here to find myself in a lot of ways. Yeah. And the racial aspect of things I can't be understated. Like, have you ever lived around white people? I grow with them too. Oh, the tip is that fresh man. Uh, I, I was at uh, cool ass fresh up. What, what up? up, man? Ken Flores. What up? What's hey, up, my motherfucker? This is, this is a What's weird up, episode. Who the fuck? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Oh, what's up, man? This is my camera guy, bitch. <laughs> uh, I think I think we should wrap up. Let's take the picture. I'm a, I'm gonna message you tomorrow. Okay. All right, all right, all right.